Hello and welcome to the latest video in the series of the Savage Worlds rule set for Fantasy Grounds. In today's video I will be covering the new features added in version 4.6 of the Savage Worlds rule set. Please note at the time of making this video version 4.6 is still a test release and there may be minor changes in the final version. The first thing I will cover is how to get version 4.6 by placing Fantasy Grounds in test mode. So if we bring up a Fancy Ground session, all you need to do is click the settings button, say yes to that, make sure that you've changed the mode to test, click OK, and then click the update button. This will download the latest version of the Savage Worlds rule set. Once you've got the 4.6 updates, you will be able to start Fancy Grounds and select the Savage Worlds rule set and start using the new features. The first I will cover is heavy armour and heavy weapons. This will also highlight a change made to the combat tracker that brings it into line with the core RPG rule set that the Savage Worlds is built upon. So we have a player character connected uh, named Driver. So if we open up his character sheet, we can see he's got a toughness of 5 and he's not currently got any armour equipped. So if we open up the armour table, hold down the ALT key, I can drag the infantry battle suit, drop it on the portrait, go to the inventory tab, go to the armour tab, and we can see that the infantry battle suit has been added to the inventory. If we go back to the skills however, the toughness is still set to 5. So if we go back to inventory, this is because at the moment he's merely carrying the battle suit. So what we shall do is we'll equip the battle suit by clicking on it, and you can see the icon changes and when you hover over it it now says equipped. If we go back to skills, we can see he's got a toughness of 6. This is not currently set to be heavy armour. So what we should do is we'll go back to the infantry battle suit, we'll open it up, and what we'll do is instead of being just body armour, we'll change it to power armour, because power armour is heavy armour. So as you can see now, it's got an H uh, icon. And if we go back to the skills, we now see not only has he got toughness 11 because of armour 6, he's equipped with heavy armour. If you want to add your own armour without resorting to uh, adding anything from the library or anything else, you can just create the armour, give it a name, I'll call it Heavy Armour, open up the Properties tab, uh, scroll this down, all we need to do is give it an armour value, and down here in the bottom just type Heavy Armour, and you can see that's turned it into Heavy Armour. We can then equip the Heavy Armour, go back to the skills tab and you can see he's now got toughness 8 with an armour of 3. So if we go to the combat tracker and drop the player in and I'll go to NPCs and I'll bring up uh, I'll tell you what, we'll go for a gold orc bring in an orc chieftain into the combat tracker and then we can demonstrate the uh, heavy armour by well, having the Orc Chieftain attack the player character. So we've got the combat tracker open, we have Driver and we have an Orc Chieftain. One of the changes in 4.6 that introduces something that was already existing in the core RPG rule set and is used in some other rule sets is the targeting capabilities. This means you do not need maps or tokens to uh, target people in the combat tracker, you can do everything inside the combat tracker. So if we move down to the Orc Chieftain here, we'll say the Orc Chieftain is targeting Driver, so he's now activated, and we'll make an attack roll with the Battle Axe, which uh, hits, doesn't get the raise, and we'll roll damage for the Battle Axe, and uh, 12 points of damage. Now with a toughness of eight, that should be a wound. However, Driver is equipped with heavy armor and the Orc Chieftain only has a normal battle axe. Therefore, this will not hurt him. So what we'll do is we'll open up the NPC sheet. We'll open up the, we'll go down to combat tab and we'll just type in here, heavy weapon. That will instantly make this a heavy weapon. However, when we roll the damage on the combat tracker, what we notice is that the attack did no damage because the driver is wearing heavy armour and the Orc Chieftain's weapon is still not treated as a heavy weapon. This is due to another change and that is the fact that basically NPCs in the combat tracker are unique entities 
they when you click on this link it will open up the original sheet but any changes you make on the on this sheet here do not affect any NPCs already in the combat tracker if you drag this orc chieftain onto the combat tracker his heavy weapon would be applied um, this is due to the fact that basically it means you can make changes in the combat tracker and it will not write the changes back to the NPC so you can basically customize NPCs in the combat tracker and still know that when you go back to the original to original NPC character those changes aren't there. So to make changes to an NPC already on the combat tracker what you have to do is hover over the area you want to change and press the middle mouse button if you have a middle mouse button. If you don't have a middle mouse button then what you would do is you'd hold down the ALT key and double, double click the token and this will do the same thing. So this opens up the battle axe that this orc chief in the combat track is using and here we can now make this a heavy weapon by just typing heavy weapon and you can see or instantly the damage now says 2d10 heavy weapon. In addition to manually typing in heavy weapon there you can just come up to the damage up here and do HW that will turn it into heavy weapon damage as well and another way to do so although the battle axe doesn't have it if there's a modifications option you can literally um, add heavy weapon as a modification to the equipment also note you don't actually have to type heavy weapon you can just use HW as the abbreviation so we'll close that battle axe down we'll now roll the damage again and now you can see that a heavy weapon has hit heavy armor and caused a wound Now the Orc Chieftain here has already successfully hit Driver and inflicted a wound but what we shall do is we'll pretend that he actually missed and he wants to spend a Benny to re-roll his Battle Axe attack so we can literally pick up a Benny, drop it on Battle Axe and it will basically use the Benny to re-roll the attack. You can spend a Benny to do this on any of the skills so we can basically, maybe he needs to make an agility check instead so he literally can just drop the Benny on a skill and it will re-roll. Likewise on the character sheet you, a player can pick up a Benny and drop it on a skill, pick up a Benny, drop it on a trait. Likewise to actually uh, soak wounds you can do the same thing so as uh, this player here he's taken some damage so what he will do he can literally uh, pick up a Benny, drop it on the soak and it will automatically make a vigor roll. If we go to the player view we can see the player's taken some damage on the combat tracker he literally can drag a Benny, drop it on the wounds and it will soak. It will make a soak roll which was very good, it was a 7. So we go back there so the player soaked the damage, we hit apply and uh, the damage is averted. As we look at the Orc Chieftain at the moment we can see his traits, we can see his attacks and his effects. What we're going to do now is we're going to turn this Orc Chieftain into a magic user. So I'm going to open up the tab going to go to the combat tab and I'm going to give him an arcane background of magic I'm going to give him 12 power points I'm going to go over to skills I'm going to give him a spell casting skill give him a d6 in spell casting I'm going to go over to powers I'm going to find bolt and I'm going to drop that down on his on his sheet and then because of course he's already in the combat tracker I'm going to remove that version of him from the combat tracker bring in the new magic using version and when we click on him now you can see that the fact he has powers are listed on the combat tracker and his current power points are listed in addition this means as you cast the powers you can reduce the power point total to keep track of how many power points your NPCs have left one that I'm not going to try and keep rolling for on the combat tracker are critical failures but critical failures will now show up on the combat tracker the Elan Edge gives you a plus two when making dice rolls. This is now automatic in 4.6 so if we give this character the Elan Edge, come back to skills, drop a Benny on agility for example, you can see the Elan Edge is now automatically factored in. This concludes part one of the Savage Worlds 4.6 update video. In part two I shall be covering vehicles, armor types, modification lists, changing the running dice and how to support multiple arcane backgrounds. Thank you for watching, I hope this has been helpful.